Okay, Speedy Cheese Racing Piston Day. Yeah, yeah, we're done with all the other stuff, which is all good. It's fun, but you know, this is better. You know, it's fun building our own stuff. So, one of the issues with um, this piston, which works really well, um, but it's difficult to assemble. Um, these, all, all of this um, stuff has to line up perfect. So, wrist pin bore to, you know, uh, intake windows to ring pin, all has to be dead on. If you look at where this ring goes right down between intake and transfer port, it, if I'm off even a little teeny bit, and I've broken several, uh, just by catching the, the, the little bit of the edge of the, the ring, because it wasn't perfect. Um, compound that with the fact that the pins, which are threaded here, and the pins that are threaded in here, all have to match up. So the Zach goes in and lines up, and then the pins that drive in and hold it together from unscrewing, those threads all have to line up perfectly. So I've redesigned a little bit, a little bit of feedback from, from you guys, and thank you for, for that. Um, but uh, I've got, I'm gonna add some features and do some things just a little bit different. Nothing too too major, uh, but I think it's going to make for a stronger piston, um, and I think it's going to make it easier to assemble. I don't know yet, but what we're going to do is start machining parts today, and let's see what what difference we can make. All right, let's go to. So I made piston domes today. Didn't quite finish them. We still got to do the mill work. Um, I added some machining stuff just for the fun of it, just to kind of show you what's going on. Anyway, um, so I redesigned the piston. Instead of having the screw-in insert, it's going to be a one piece. So the pin boss and the dome will all be one piece. So it gets rid of the hassle of, of threading that all together, and then the skirt will thread onto the dome. And then we'll have a little, I don't know if you can see this, it's going to have a trapped ring. Um, 
and an O-ring groove. I'm not sure about the O-ring groove. I think a Viton uh, O-ring is good for 600 degrees. Uh, it's pretty questionable whether it'll live. I don't know, but I'm going to try it anyway. We might end up with a tapered seat instead. But I'm going to give it a shot. I just want to see. Um, but what that'll do is then this is the, the reverse Dykes ring, which is a track ring, which will allow it to only expand so far. And then with the, o, the purpose of the O-ring is combustion, of course, is coming in behind the ring and expanding it. And I don't want it shooting down through the threads. Um, you know, I want as much uh, combustion behind the, uh, the piston ring. I guess that's about it. Uh, I haven't really decided on how I'm going to pin it, but it's really not a big deal. Um, I got these done today, except for the millwork, like I say. I'll do the skirts tomorrow and do the millwork tomorrow. I can't test these until next week. I am racing at El Mirage, that's a dry lake bed in Southern California, I'm running the land speed bike there. Um, Sunday. So as soon as I get back, we'll tear the bike apart because it's still got salt all over it. So I need to get it apart. And um, and then we'll put these pistons in the engine and let's do some dyno pulls and see what we can see. See if we can break something. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for paying attention. And thanks for all the new subscribers. All right. Have a good night.